Our first inductee tonight is going to be Jerry Burt. Okay, now as, as you all know, Jerry Bird is a longtime St. Louis official, and he's currently an off-ice official for the St. Louis Blues. You might recognize him the most because anytime there's a goal that's being disputed or some point in time, it's his face that ends up on TV. There are those that will argue that that's why so many goals are being disputed. <laughs> However, we know that that's not the case, Jerry. I had a chance to, uh, to catch up with some folks that knew Jerry, and uh, here's a story that uh, was relayed to me uh, about Jerry Burt. They were actually, he was the official in a game, and he had a junior official with him. Well, Jerry's getting ready for a face-off, and he hands the puck to the junior official, and he says, hey, he just fix up the, uh, the hole on the ice. The junior official looked down and said, uh, there's... There, Jerry, there's not a hole on the ice, which may mean why we now know he's an official. But, but he said, there's not a hole on the ice. He goes, look, fix up the hole. Well, the junior official didn't want to make Jerry look bad, so he said, okay. And he got down and he, he fixed, up the, uh, fixed up the hole. In the meantime, one of the players came over and said, Jerry, what's, let's, what's going on? He goes, we're fixing up the hole. And the player looked down and said, there's, there's not a hole down there on the ice. And, and folks, this, this is a true story. This, um, this is not a joke. This is a true story. It turns out they were playing music during the break, and Jerry really liked the song, and he just wanted to hear the end of the song. So he delayed the game so he could uh, dance to the song a little bit, and then once the song was over, the, the puck was dropped. So without further ado, uh, Jerry, congratulations, and uh, welcome to the St. Louis Amateur Hockey Hall of Fame. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Chris. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank the Hall of Fame committee and all the sponsors, as well as um, all the people at Table One. They um, have had a whole lot to uh, do with my success or lack thereof in this in this game, and I thank them. Thank thank you all the sponsors as well. Um, if it seems like I'm a little nervous up here, I, I really am because. I've never been around this many coaches without them bitching at me. <laughs> <clears throat> the, um, we were reminded by Scott Rupp last, uh, with a phone call last night to uh, try to keep our speeches to a minimum. And um, if you remember the people that were here last, last year that um, Chris Kerber made sure and said that uh, in, in hockey, short shifts are a whole lot better than long shifts because one of the inductees had gone a little bit over his time limit. Well, I was a goalie. Uh, I never had a shift. So when I first went to uh, training camp and the officials camp, first thing they tell you is two minutes is a minor, five minutes is a major, and 10 minutes is a misconduct. And I, with that time frame in mind, I hope I don't have to call any penalties on myself this evening. I started getting involved in hockey after uh, my father asked me on my 10th birthday what I wanted to do for that birthday, and I said, I want to go to a Blues game. We went to the Blues game, and the Blues won, and I was hooked on hockey. Uh, that particular game, Jacques Plante played, and if you remember Jacques Plante, whenever he would win a game before he would exit the ice, he would raise his arms above his head in a V for victory. I was hooked on goaltending. I started goaltending at, uh, at the age of 10, played minor hockey in St. Louis. I played uh, high school hockey in St. Louis, junior B hockey in St. Louis, and I played for St. Louis University until uh, they dropped the program and I went to Miami of Ohio and finished up there. It was at that time I did the stupidest thing in my life and I started officiating. <laughs> I traded uh, one set of tools of ignorance for another set. <laughs> I was lucky enough to officiate in all levels of USA Hockey, national championships, uh, two world championships in Italy and Sweden. Uh, I worked uh, over a thousand professional games and I worked a few games in the National Hockey League as well. I was honored enough to do that, but the true person that backed me up the whole time was my father. I'd like to thank him. I love you, Dan. It's 
pretty tough being a father of a goaltender because you get yelled at when your son gets scored on. And then when you go and watch him referee, you get yelled at no matter what. <laughs> In closing, I would like to say I uh, remember what some of the fans that my games used to tell me. Um, they would always mention that, hey, Bert, nobody came to see you here tonight. I thank you. <laughs> Jerry, we, we want to come on back here. We want to get your picture in, with your plaque as well.